We have a nice uh, package here. It's a Razor Ripsaw. Look at this beauty. Uh, this this is where content is going to be made, my guys. Content, straight content. Bound, knock it out. So today I have a unboxing of the Razor Ripsaw. Let's get right into it. So like I said in the intro, we have a Razor Ripsaw for today's unboxing. And I've been waiting for this because I've been playing Modern Warfare every day for like ever since it came out. Maybe like a week after it came out or two days. I'm not exact, okay? I just, I play it and I like it. Focus, focus, focus here, okay? So, uh, yeah, this is gonna help me a lot because I've been wanting to stream and make content and like 720p videos that don't have webcams, not really my thing. So, yeah, we're gonna get into this unboxing and I hope you guys enjoy. And here we got paper. Lit. Okay, so this is a like, I don't know, just a sheet that tells you things, okay? Uh, it's time to be seen and heard. I like that. All right. Ooh. Well, let's do that again real quick. Let's do a little lift lift, all right? Ooh. So, I rushed into unboxing this, and I was convinced by a special someone to do an unboxing. So, I kind of took it out of its packaging already. If you can't tell. No, this, is, this is how they sell it to you, actually, you know? But um, yeah, it's very beautiful. Look, just look at the, look at the black. A razor ripsaw is a. It's this tiny box that captures, like, have you ever seen those uh, big streamers where they have a streaming PC and then a gaming PC? This is pretty much what would link them together. If you ever heard of Elgato products, it's kind of like that, but. I didn't want to get an Elgato. Why aren't you? <clears throat> Focus! Damn it! Okay. So, I forgot where I was. But, um, uh, yeah, the big streamers. This is pretty much how you would connect the uh, PCs together. But in my case, I'm using it to stream off my PC, but get the gameplay off my Xbox. So, that's pretty much what I'm using it for. So that's what this bad boy is right here. We have HDMI in, HDMI out, and then a type C. And then we have some audio jacks for headset mic. Yeah. You know? So let's get in with the rest of the unboxing. Let's see. This is just a protective foam for the ripsaw itself. And here we have a booklet. So I don't think anyone would ever read this we have the internet now so yeah uh, we have cool stickers really cool it's back yep that which I don't know why they gave us this one because I'm I have razor stickers that have like this like uh, if you move it, it changes colors like they're all the cool thing whatever but yeah it's pretty cool to have I'm probably gonna decorate my Xbox with Razor stickers later. Let's get into whatever else is in here. And eh, I don't want to rip it, but it's like not wanting to gently cut. Oh, there it goes. I'm pretty sure this is all the wiring we need. Yes, it is. Let's get all this out. And that's pretty much everything. Well, is everything. We have the ripsaw right here. We have a booklet we're not going to use ever. Some stickers and the wires. So, uh, this is USB to Type C. And we have some audio cables as well, well aux cables. And this is a very thick cable here. Which I think, I'm pretty sure that's an HDMI to HDMI. Alright, let's get these open. <clears throat> so I kind of want to keep these little wrapper things. It's pretty sick, you know? It's a little sticky. So this is, we have, we have an aux. 
and then we have a this is USB 3.0 I think that is what it is and then we have the type C there so I'm pretty sure this would be plugged into the ripsaw itself and the PC or console put that off to the side and I'll bring this next one Let's see what these big wires are I'm not good with wire names I just play games okay and this let's see what this big thing is I'm pretty sure it's HDMI though yes it is HDMI so I'm pretty sure this would go to console to PC or if you're doing PC to PC this is what you would use to connect to get the uh, display from one another so we have that and again we do have the aux cables here for whatever we need it for we'll, we'll find out later <coughs> So that's pretty much what's in the box. It's just a really empty box now. But okay, put all this stuff away. Just keep the maybe see maybe we do we do need this. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep that out. Keep we'll keep the booklet. I don't think okay. anyone would ever read this. We have the internet now, so bam bam and that's pretty much it got the razor ripsaw itself boom so you can see that logo there it would be cool if it was rgb though because razor is all about the rgb but i mean it's nice you know it's not about how it looks it's what it does and it doesn't break cool things so i'm gonna try to get this connected and then we'll We'll meet you into the, uh, how to get it all together. Man. Hello everybody. So this is after the fact I was editing the video. I didn't do a good enough job setting up the Razer Ripsaw. So I'm going to explain it in this drawing here. I have an Arctic 5 2019 edition and I plug it into there. The USB type C goes into a 3.0. Okay. And this has, you have to be specific with this. There's two, there's normally two 3.0s to one block. And I'll, I'll pop up a picture of what that looks like. If you don't want to run into any freezing problems with the Razer Ripsaw, because I have myself, you're going to want to plug it into one block itself. You're going to plug it into the 3.0 and leave the other USB alone. I'll, the picture is still up, but yeah, you're going to want to leave it alone. Okay. And after that, I mean, you could do it in any order you plug in your blue yeti mic into another port not the same as the razor ripsaw because then it'll cause it to freeze and then you're going to do hdmi in to xbox you're going to take this one and plug it into here to the hdmi out to tv not the in so and then you're going to take the hdmi out and plug that into your monitor and that's pretty much the setup all right so i'm in obs right now i disabled my razor ripsaw right here so i could just show you guys how to completely set it up i set uh i named it myself but you go here go to video capture devices video capture device 2 bam and then you're going to want to switch that to razor ripsaw hd hdmi and then you want to configure video you're going to make this custom the resolution is what you're going to want to have it to and i'm pretty sure i have mine to yep 1920 1080 60 frames and then the format i just try to put the highest resolution of color to make it look better and you also want to use use custom audio device and then choose the microphone razor ripsaw hd hdmi that's that's what get you all the audio from the game and then to have your mic talking in here i have a standalone mic like the blue yeti and that's what i would plug in here and that's what properties is my blue yeti microphone but i have it going to a voice meter which is for a later video if you want to know more 
let me know down in the comments and also leaving a like on this video. And that's pretty much how you put Razer Ripsaw capture device inside of OBS and set it up the correct way. And if you're getting problems on your Xbox of the resolution looking bad, then uh, I'll put in another clip of how to fix that up. Okay guys, so if you're having that problem with the resolution, you're gonna wanna go to settings, go to TV and display options, and on display, you're gonna wanna make it 1080p because you'll probably realize it's on 720. And that's how you fix that resolution problem and have a good time recording, streaming, and making content for the internet.